Hi everyone, my name is Swanko Joshua. I'm from Government Technical College, Enugu, GTC. I'm in computer year three, and here you are in my lab. Behind me are my teammates who work to see that our project keeps getting better each and every day. Um, actually, what inspired this project of creating a website, official website for the school, was that in GTC Enugu, we have very talented students that actually comes up with best projects on earth best tech, technology gadgets that they design the circuits and design the outlook by themselves but at the end of the day they don't have any platform of showcasing what they got they don't have any means of telling the world see 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 what i can do and what i have in me so it's part of the inspiration that inspired us that why don't we create a platform where everyone can show what they got and at the end of the day they can get hooked up by someone who can help their future and secondly as a final year student, it's not good for us to leave the school after the school impacting us. We don't uh, impact the school positively. First of all, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how we designed the website. It's not a tutorial video, but I'm going to tell you how the basic steps we took. At first, we had to design um, our website using HTML, make use of Sublime Text, and uh, we writing some of design, designing the website with codings. To actually make it beautify and make it look good, adding pictures, videos, and other things. And right behind me in my background now, some people are still working. I was still working to make sure that each and every day our school website gets better. As you may know, many people have bad ideology about this school, but actually, I'm proud to be a student of GTC Enugu. Um, I'm graced by God's grace each and every day. I keep thanking God that at the age of 16, I'm a programmer. They say, I can design softwares and design websites. By the time I get to where I'm going, the world is going to know that I came from GTC Enugu. I'm very happy about that. Yes, I'm proud of this uh, set because all the while, uh, during the last years, we've been doing uh, construction of some circuits, designs, something like a uh, inverter circuit board, displaying the name of the school. We have one here in, the, in our office. But this time around, they said they want to come with a different thing. I told them to go and look for a project topic of your own, of your choice. Then they told me they are going to do a website design for the school. I was so happy and the I am happy they have actually done it. When, my, when I told my parents about the project we are about to carry out, they were so happy and impressed that at secondary school level, we, can, we are about to attempt a creating website. So they, give, they encourage us that we should carry it up. They are happy. They supported us in financial aspects. Actually, at first, I wasn't in support of the project due to my thoughts that financing the project would be a problem to me. But thank God for my teammates, they really inspired me a lot. All the texts in the website, I typed them. So I'm a good typist, so I helped them out in typing the documents and the text in the page. The aim of designing the website is to show the world what GTC Enugu can do. And the role that I played in the website designing was the design of the website, design of the school logo, and developing of the website and some coding of the website. Some people within us had to make a lot of sacrifices. As a matter of fact, I myself took a very big risk in trying to make this project a dream come true. But we are not counting that. Our, our aim here now is that our project is set, is ready. <laughs> Honestly, I, <laughs> I ran into the class one day, they, they gathered when I was on what I call World Round. I marched into the department that afternoon and they gathered. I thought they were making noise. But they politely explained to me, we are not actually making noise. We are having a meeting. We are planning so, so, so thing. I said, you? They said, yes. I said, OK. I wish you well. And I left. So as the dream has come true, really, it's overwhelming. It's really overwhelming. Yes, um, numerous challenges, first of all, as the country is now hardship, but by God's grace, we are able to raise a huge amount of money hosting the website, a year plan. And by God's grace, we are planning to keep renewing the plan each and every year um, from support from outside or we ourselves. By God's grace, we are able to raise the money 
to host the website and even some other things because we needed data to be doing some things online and by God's grace money was part of the challenges and secondly discouragement when we want to start this some people discourage us do you know how much it takes do you know the idea the the money everything that they say just to bring us down but by God's grace we didn't let anybody bring us down we had this in our mind we had sleepless night trying to make this project a dream come true so um, part, another part of the challenges was doubt. At a point, doubt came, um, doubt came inside us and was like, are we going to continue this? The project is half done. The project, oh, this God, where well, do we get the extra money to complete this? How are we going to lose this? Um, but by God's grace, we we're able to achieve our dream. And each and every one of us is happy now. And by God's grace, as we keep going, more grace, more perfection. That's all we pray to God for. This project has already inspired me because now I can create websites on my own. Now, it's not only the school that is seeing their project, but the whole world will see this project. And this is the first to be on, on the net so that people around will know what is GTC, Government Technical College, and what they do, uh, different departments, sections, and what they can do. Uh, as, as long as I stay here, it continues to light. The website must continue to be on. The line I would do, anybody that will sit after me would always like to carry on with the maintenance or retainership of this uh, website. The vocational studies should be encouraged because many have graduated and have not found anything doing. So, but if you have something you can produce or be self-employed. I pray for anybody that has not realized what technical education is. I put such a person into my prayer point. Parents, copiers, both at primary school level and other children anywhere, both in secondary school and tertiary institutions. Because one can after OND, HND, even degree without skill of any nature should get back to rotate and get a tangible skill to back up whatever knowledge he has got. So I advise anybody anywhere then to sit up and come close to the corridor of vocational and technical education for self-reliance. Because I'm, I'm very, it's obvious and clear that these children today doing this under any circumstance should not be waiting for government any time for employment. They can be self-employed, I guarantee that. On behalf of my team, I want, I want to thank the management of this school. They have been doing so well and the current administration, they have been doing so well to see that discipline is observed in Government Technical College Enugu. As you can see, I'm on my tie, and by this time, last two years, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this, so I must commend the principal of Government Technical College Enugu, and also our lovely teachers. Honestly, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. They are the ones that put us through this line and made us know that we have great potentials in us and that working on this will perfect us. Will perfect I want to thank them very much and pray may God bless them, keep strengthening them. Actually, they the people, they are the light that leads to the path of our great future. God bless you all. We are the nation, we are part of them.